Hey everybody, this is Samsar again. Uh, this is my part 2 of the Mega Man, the first one NES, so let's play walkthrough or yeah, whatever you want to call it. Uh, next guy I'm going for is Electaman. Uh, Electaman is a robot created by Dr. Light. His original function was to manage the electrical output of nuclear power plants. Because of the importance of Electaman's jaws, Dr. Light created him to have a sharp judgment as well as very fa fast speed of movement. It's said he's the greatest among the industrial duty robots built by Dr. Light. I like this man's strength and his strong feelings toward duty. Although he tends to be like uncooperative person, he likes singing along to guitar accompaniment and dislikes rubber products. Well, harsh rubber kind of panther electric. Uh, to be honest, uh, like I said, this is my first time playing all like playing all of, uh, Mega Man, like the first Mega Man series, or I think yeah, Mega Man one to seven. I've never played before. To be honest, nine. Nine as well. I played the X series, but never really played the uh, normal series. But yeah, I like the man. He he three shots you. He literally three shots you. But then again, you three shot him too with the uh, cut man's cut skill, whatever. And his stage is very annoying. But on top of that, his stage is not as annoying because you do get one of the coolest ability in the game, uh, which is the letter you can see later. Um, yeah, this this guy. This guy's stage is very annoying. I, like I said, you just... I don't know, I don't like the stage at all. The stage is extremely hard for me. Um, personally, I believe it's hard for me, but... Yeah. But anyway... Um, yeah, this guy is... Yeah, he hurts. That's all I'm gonna say, he hurts. If you guys play Mega Man, you, like, I don't know what the hell was the, the creator of Mega Man was thinking when he made this game. They're like, let's make a hard game. This is a hard game that people can't really play, and yeah. And especially when, oh my god, you know my laptop was lagging on emulator, on the worst jumping part. You know when there's, where there's like a, a cliffs or spikes? I lagged the most there, and so hard to jump. And I was I was actually planning to just cut that part out so I don't lag that more. So I get passive, but I'm like, wait, that'd be stupid. So, yeah, I had to bear with it. Oh my gosh, made me QQ so hard the entire run. But yeah, uh, these are the robot things here. Uh, it's better to take them out before you, uh, you even keep going because they shoot electric. It's hard to dodge. But anyways, what I'm here and talking about is that middle thing there. It's like the it's a power up for Mega Man. It's like some magnet, the magnet power thing or like, actually what's it called to be honest. But yeah, some magnet skill thing. It's very useful. It's extremely broken in the entire game. You can see later on how I abuse this majority of the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't really get it yet. You get Guts Man's skill. And Guts Man's skill, to be honest, is really pretty really useless. To now you, you never able to use Guts Man's skills to fight a boss because majority of the time they don't really have a boulder to throw at. Yeah. Kind of odd point of Guts Man's skill. But then again, it's a fairy's first one. You can't really can't judge the first game because it's like the very first game, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I give it some credit because it's the first one. Like, I never. But anyways, here watch, I'm going to show you the main how broken this thing is. So the longer you press it, the longer it is. Oh, my bad. So see, I can just make it long, but it doesn't stay that long. But it's enough, long enough for you to run past it for sure. So anyways, I'm near the boss now, and... Yeah, I'm just keeping the magnet pole, the magnet pole, the magnet thing, because I'm just going to do this, jump over this guy. Or I could just jump into him, does it work? Anyway, here's this boss. Um... Yeah, he hits really hard. With my HP here, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm probably going to die, guaranteed. Uh, which I am, for us, because I played this part and kind of died. <coughs> yeah, I don't get a point system here. Like, I have all points. Like, it's no point of me having a little score there because it's not going to give me anything. I, I don't know if it's giving me one number or anything. But, yeah. Anyways, you go so how this guy works and watch him one-shot me right here. Okay, let's do this. So, I'm gonna throw this at him. Uh, oops. Yeah, the cutter is kind of odd because it depends how you jump and how you direction is the angle of the hut, and I should have jumped that one. And yeah, that was my bad. So, yeah, you see him, he just literally one shot me right there with that HP. So, you just can tell that he's got three shot me, he actually does. Does his work. Um, pretty simple in the entire fight. Uh, the, the, everything should be kind of obvious, but then this. I don't know, personally don't like the stage, but then get later on the stage is even worse. Um, yeah, I really don't understand how people 
you have to sit through this entire game, and if I didn't have save state, I would be stuck on this game forever. But anyways, this one's pretty simple, he's going to the electric at you, and you just need to throw this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep throwing this, and let's see who dies first, and realize that, yeah, he dies first. He hit me two times, and almost dead. Um, here goes that boss, pretty simple. Just don't get hit by him as much as he hits you. Hope you hit him more than he does. Uh, it's kind of hard because if he hits a wall with his electric, it kind of bounce, it kind of uh, reflects with like a bunch of them flying at you. But anyway, next guy I'm going for is Iceman. Because Ice uh, Iceman is weak against electric. Iceman is just as bad as just as bad as Electric Man. He three shots you too. Um, or this guy's story is. Iceman is a robot created by Dr. Light, whose original function was exploring the depths of the Arctic. Uh, whenever his exploration duties ended, he would pick up work transporting goods to cold storage warehouses. When Dr. Wily initiated his first world dominating plot, Iceman was among the robots who stole from Dr. Light and reprogrammed into battle robots. Iceman is said to be a bit of a show off, and somewhat selfish too. He enjoys snowball fights, although he doesn't like losing very well. He hates saunas, well, obviously. Uh, the game Mega Man Battle and Chase indicates Iceman has fond fondness of role. For role. Oh, he likes Mega Man's sister. Huh. Iceman's cat man is kind of a... Uh, yeah, like he kind of like, like he's kind of proud of... Uh, he idolized Mega Man, not proud. Sorry. But anyways, <clears throat> this stage is slippery as hell and is annoying as hell. If you guys ever go to here, you guys will know exactly what I mean. It's so slippery, I just fall off the balcony a million times. Uh, I don't even want to bother to do this whole run, so I'm just going to do this. Please bring... Might as well abuse what it has in this game. This game has a lot of glitches, and I'm going to, I'm going to tend to abuse every single glitch there is in this game, so... If you guys are wondering, the, oh my god, why are you abusing the glitch? Play this game normally. The game was kind of built that way, and not because it's built of a glitch. It's... it's... I don't know, exploit of a glitch. But yeah. It's always good to exploit glitches. It's always good. I know it takes no skill. You guys will be like, oh my god, why are you exploiting glitches? But, eh, life's tough. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like, it's when you play tournaments, you go for the weakest. Same concept. Uh, look at how much how slide this thing is. But anyway, I'm almost to the boss now, and I'm just gonna get some, uh, mang in here because I need it. Well, I don't need it actually. After one battle, the whole thing is done, and I can feel everything. So, I think the boss. I'm really close to the boss. Uh, I think after this guy here. So I'm gonna try to try to fight. I'm gonna slide past him. Uh, yeah, that guy hits really hard. If you guys try to avoid avoid him, like sometimes you want to kill him for life, but I I did a million times and I always get upgrade for him. But yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, now I'm going to go for Iceman. Iceman is pretty simple, very very straightforward boss. It's not a problem at all. He's uh, yeah, he's pretty straightforward. Nothing, he's not too hard, not too easy. Like, just don't get hit by him because like three shots to you. So anyway, I'm gonna go to the present and hit him once, two, then three. There you go. Um, the third one's a fluke because I was sliding and I couldn't move, so I might as well keep shooting him. But me. <clears throat> now I get the ice move. Now the last guy is fire. So apparently in Mega Man first one, ice is good against fire, but later on in the Mega Man series, actually ice is weak against fire. So. Weird. Anyway, now go Fireman. He's a pretty interesting boss, not too hard. But anyways, <coughs> uh, Fireman is a cool. Fireman, cool. Sorry. Fireman is a robot created by Doctor Light for waste disposal. He can produce man. Well, this is managed fire flames as hot as 8,000 degrees Celsius with ease. In Doctor Wily's first scheme for world domination, he stole and reprogrammed Fireman to battle robot. Uh, Fireman is says to have the personality of a, a fiery as his abilities. While he's very passionate, he's also very quick to temper. As well because of their clash in elements and personalities, Fireman doesn't get along with Iceman. Fireman likes camping and dislikes rainy days. Well, of course like rainy days, he's like Charmander. Charmander hates rain. Like, he has a fire head for all I'm trying to Charmander has a fire tail. And why would he like camping? Because he built a campfire? Whatever. Uh, whoops. See, it's only one of the games that when you're trying to transform around the ladder, you just drop. Because it just say that I'm gonna try to go up there and get that. Um, whoops, that kind of backfired. Okay, well, you know what? Never mind. That's okay. Whoops. Wow, I feel like an idiot there. Anyways, uh, might as well use this magnet because magnet's here, and might as well use skill. Um, I see some life, might as well take some damage to get it. 
Uh, I don't give it a full, which kind of sucks. Eh. Those things are pretty easy to stop. Uh, the flames you see shoot up, it just lands, uh, it doesn't chase you, it looks like it's chasing you, but it doesn't, it just lands down slowly. And these fires, you can actually freeze them with, uh, Iceman's Freeze. It's... What's my call it? You can freeze them, I, I don't really freeze it because it's so point. Well, I could, but it doesn't freak too long. And I'm getting hit by these guys like crazy. Oh my god, this is getting annoying. Uh, we see that little instant flame, a lot of course instant kills like spikes, I, I think this is flame is instant kill too, but I don't even want to bother even touching it, so I'm just going to do this way. I'm pretty sure it's an instant kill though, don't get me wrong. Oh my god, I I'm just doing, what the hell am I doing? There we go, sorry about that. <coughs> now, now I'll go back to my cutter here, the uh, reason why you get cutter here is because, uh, you see what I mean later. Now I'm going to finish these guys off, this, this is not the one I want to kill with cutters, yeah, I can just, uh, Buster do it. It's these little things on the ground. The one on the thing on the ground. The one shot by the cutter. Um, it's just I want to avoid them as much as possible because they're, they're hard to jump over because the the alley is so small and like the ceiling so small they like, usually get hit. Now I'm gonna try to kill this thing and yeah. What the hell is going too fast? But anyways, what the hell? Okay, that back that totally backfired. Um, anyways, get some. Uh, energy back, but I really don't. I doubt that I need it. Uh, I think I'll get hit here. Hope not. Yeah, I am gonna hit. Uh, I'm really close to the boss, I think. Uh, right here, just need to two flames. See, it's, when you shoot it with a buster, it looks like you could hit her, but hit it, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm gonna bring the electric here because electric is good against the hallway bosses here, the hallway mobs here. Because I just run through it and shoot. These blue guys kind of shoot twice, and I don't want to take forever of standing there. I probably will die with this guy too because, like I said, it's my first time playing and I kind of suck at this game. Uh, this boss is pretty straightforward. Actually, he throws his flame and you jump over it. The problem is that you can't jump up horizontally because you jump up and the, there'll be a flame under you. So you have to jump over it, like constantly moving left and right to dodge a fire while you're shooting him. Uh, of course, it's not like the other bosses, the Iceman and Electric Man, to shoot one shot you, but he is pretty annoying if you don't dodge him properly. Mm. Yeah, he's he's good against Bomb Man. Yeah, Bomb, yeah, bomb Man. Bomb. Uh. Anyways, Fireman's going down this time pretty easily to kill him here. Spacer, someone's going to spam this. I'm not even. Gonna, yeah, this is. Wow, I'm just sucking ass here. Oh my god, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to be shooting. I don't even bother anymore. There we go. See? It depends who has more life. Anyways, that's. Uh, my end of my part two. I'll go for make a part three for Wally's castle. I will see you guys there and rate, comment, subscribe, guys. See you guys later. Bye.